where the conspiracy theorists at? Like, is this some harp shit? Or is this just global warming? Or is this just bipolar ass Houston? Because this is nuts. Welcome to the vlog, but before we get started, I have a word from our sponsors. Y'all know our sponsors is what keeps this channel going. So your girl is working with Mega Look Hair. I have worked with Mega Look Hair plenty of times in the past, and this time we are doing a little something different. Y'all know I like curly hair, I like big hair, I like long, straight hair. We're doing a bob. It's 14 inches. I'm probably gonna cut it um just because that is a really long bob i don't know we'll see what i decide i don't know if i'm gonna flat iron it make it straight put some curls in it, some layers i'm really not sure but a 14 inch unit having done one of those in a really long time the hair is really thick that is thick that's a lot of density this is how the hairline looks i don't think i've ever had a hairline that's shaped like this um if you guys can see how it goes back here and then it comes forward a lot i don't know if you guys can really see but anyway i've never had a hairline like this so let's see how it goes i'm not bleaching these knots y'all know that i am one of those people who like to do really easy simple units so i'm gonna pluck i'm gonna camouflage i'm gonna baby hair and that's pretty much it it also has an elastic band on the inside i do wear my wig bands because i usually never glue my wigs down I 99.999% of the time, all of my wigs are going to be glueless. So this band is just a little bit extra security. There are a couple of combs in the hair. Um, I probably will only use just the one at the nape. And yeah, so this is what she's looking like before. If you want to see how she turns out, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, she is on. And I'm just noticing these pieces in the front are longer. Y'all see that? Little pieces in the front are longer and then shorter here on the side. So it's literally at my shoulder there, as you can see, then these long pieces in the front. I don't remember the picture looking like this. So this is, this is different. I'm literally trying to see what I'm gonna do with the hair. Do I just do like a flip over and, cause it looks like layers are already in it, but these long pieces in the front throwing me off just a little bit. So I'm not really sure. Um, Honestly, it already looks cute just like this. <laughs> I haven't done anything to it. So I'm really trying to debate if I want to curl this hair or wear it straight. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It is so thick though, so thick. Oh my God, I appreciate that so much. All the other bobs that I've reviewed in the past, cause I stopped reviewing bobs because they've been so thin and stringy. And I was like, let me give this a try doing another bob. And y'all, it is thick, thick. She th 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 thick, th 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 <laughs> like for real. Um, okay, let me cut this lace off and figure out what I'm gonna do. cut it at all just because I was like let me see how it looks just really in its natural state in the layers that they cut in it the shape that they cut in it so I was like let me just see how it looks I think it looks really cute from the side this is like giving me you know I don't know like it's it's giving me body it's giving me shine you can definitely see the layers in the hair. See, look how it falls. So, I mean, this is definitely a different look, a different hairstyle for me. 
Um, if I was to cut it, I would literally just cut it in a blunt bob, just a little blunt cut. But I think everybody does that. I think that that would just be something just super basic because it's been done so many times before. I definitely like stepping outside the box. This unit is really different. Like I said, I love how thick it is. I love the versatility in it. You can wear it just like this. You can curl it. You can definitely cut it. Um, and as you can see, how the length of the 14 inch comes on me. The layers, beautiful. Like I said, you wanted to part it down the middle. You could. Um, I just didn't think parting it down the middle would have given the cut that it's in. It just doesn't really exaggerate the cut if it was parted down the middle. I think it just looks too plain. In my opinion, I mean, y'all let me know what y'all think. I think that swooped over, brushed over, look, that effortless, like look at this. Look how this looks on me. I literally just did that. That's it. And I think it still looks good. It looks cute. You can wear this to the gym. This is your Ryan Aaron's hair, just your around the house hair. I wouldn't say this is like dress up, like going out to the club. I think this is just more like casual. Um, just that effortless, beautiful look. The links to the website will be down below. The link straight to this unit is down below. Coupon code as well. Check out Make A Look Hair. Thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. Let me know what you think about this look. Should I have put it down the middle? Should I have made a defined part? Do you like it just, you know, swooped over the effortless look or what? Or should I just go back to the super long, curly, body wave hair? Like, what do y'all what do you think? <laughs> but I think it's beautiful. So check them out and Let's get on to the vlog. What's up besties? Welcome to the vlog. Getting it started a little bit later than normal. I've been starting my vlogs late in the afternoon for some reason. Cause I just be, I don't know. I just be lazy like when I'm at home and I really don't have nothing to do. I did go to work this morning. I went, I clocked in and I walked down and I'm just like, am I the first person here? That has never happened in all the years that I've worked at that hospital. Um, so then I got on the computer and then 10 minutes later, I'm like, this ain't right. Like this ain't right. So I started texting two of my coworkers. I'm like, hey, where's everybody at? Is there a case today? Did the case get canceled and no one told me? Baby, that damn case got canceled and nobody told me. Granted, I didn't work yesterday, but still we have a group chat. Like we have a group chat with like the um, staff and then we have a group chat with our manager in it. Like manager, ma'am, uh, you didn't want to let the entire chat know? Hello? Girl, so I clocked out after 20 minutes. I could have stayed and just got some free hours, just sat there, looked at YouTube and just got a free two, three hours or more if I wanted to. But um, I was so sleepy. I've been having bad insomnia for the past two nights and I don't know why. I, I truly don't know why. Last night I woke up around 3 a.m. And I could not go back to sleep. Like, it was crazy. So I only had four hours last night. The night before that, I only had four hours of sleep. So I don't know what's going on with me. Like, that. Th this usually never happens. Like, this is very, very rare for me. So anyway, I came home. I, well, I went to Whataburger, got me some breakfast. And then I came home, edited a video, took a nap. And then really just been laying in bed all day. T took my sheets off. I'm washing my sheets and my comforter. So, And y'all, I went to Louis Vuitton yesterday. And I'm bad girl. But I'll do an unboxing with y'all probably later on in this video. Um, I'm about to go to Chipotle right now. I am hungry. I need some Chipotle. I need some Chipotle guacamole. Like, if y'all don't eat that guac, their guac is amazing. Oh, my God. And I used to never get it because I'm like, it would have big chunks of onions in it. Girl. Girl. That guac. Top of the line, Okay. But uh, let me show you guys my outfit. Y'all know how I do. I was just show y'all my little fits, even though they ain't nothing to them. So this is what I'm wearing. This little top says, no time for basics. I got this from Forever 21 for like $3, probably about like a good five years ago. Um, these leggings are from 
live fabulously it's a company who i worked with and they fit really really good they're the same material as those one size fits all ross leggings that i tell you guys about so yeah and then just with my balenciaga sock sneakers and then my little red Prada bag that I got from Fashion File, pre-loved, love it so much. So that's just my little pop of color. And yeah, so, and I got some silver hoop earrings on. I kind of want to go to Forever 21 today and find some other hoops, but I don't know. I don't want to go spend no extra money. Y'all know it's a trap. Every time you go to the mall, it's a trap. You gonna go on for one thing, you gonna walk out with about four or five, and some food and a smoothie <laughs> like it's a trap guys so anyway let me get started i'm gonna go to chipotle first then i gotta meet up with the kid's dad um because he has their laptops for school and for the rest of the week they are going to be doing online school and the kids are at daycare because like i said i want to work this morning so i dropped them off at 6 a.m and when I got off, I was like, I'm so tired. I'm paying for this week anyway, so they can stay. They can stay for a while. I'll pick them up after I eat my Chipotle, probably before I meet their dad, so they can at least see him. So, all right, y'all, let's get it. Y'all, uh, I made um, Cheddar Bay biscuits last night from Red Lobster. I had the, um, the box thing that you buy from the grocery store, so I made them last night. Y'all, they look exactly like the Cheddar Bay Biscuits, but they do not taste just like the Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Theirs, to me, are more buttery. And I followed the instructions exactly on the box, but I probably should have added butter in the um, mixture, even though it didn't call for it. That's what I think I'm missing. Why y'all ain't put no butter in the... Like, why? Like, it just... It literally was just uh, water the mix and um shredded cheese that's it and then once i tasted them i'm like they're good don't get me wrong they're good but they they were just missing something i think that something is some butter so honestly i'm probably just gonna eat those probably as some breakfast biscuits don't judge don't judge yes they have garlic on them yes they have cheese and all that but i think if i cut them open Put some butter in the middle with some jam, some strawberry jam, but jelly. It'll be good. I don't, I don't like wasting food. I don't want things to go to waste. The kids didn't like them. So maybe I just got to revamp them. Or maybe I'll just um, put like Jimmy Dean sausage in the middle. Make little breakfast sandwiches out of them. I don't know. Ooh, y'all. It is so hot. It is 80 degrees today. 80. 8. 0. And literally one week ago, it was 18 degrees outside. We had no power. Most people had no water. People were dying. I was sitting in front of a fireplace, searching the city for food. Like, I just don't understand <laughs> where the conspiracy theorists at. Like, is this some harp shit? Or is this just global warming? Or is this just bipolar as Houston? Because this is nuts. Like it is hot. I am, I'm my upper lip is sweating. Um, wow, 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 wow. So guys, um, oh hold up, let me hold y'all for a sec. Turning this corner. Uh, so yeah, I am supposed to be going to Hawaii on Friday. Yeah, so let me start this thing off and just say, I'm single. Yeah, y'all see me with somebody, I talk about somebody. We have not made that commitment yet. We have not said, you're my boyfriend, you're my girlfriend. We have not had that discussion. I'm not married, so that's my disclaimer. I'm single until somebody claims it officially. So with that being said, I'm going to Hawaii. Um, it's one of them type of trips, you know. It's, it's like getting flewed out. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just a little nervous on this trip. I've been, y'all know this ain't nothing new, um, but I don't know. I'm just a little nervous. It's just, it's just a little nervous. Like famous men, like men of like high, stature it's just weird when you meet up i don't know 
it's just weird like he cool it's a cool chill vibe or whatever he look different but um I don't know. It's just it's different when you meet like famous men. Anyway, so this will be our first time hanging out. He's working in Hawaii right now. He's there for I think he said like almost two weeks. And he just got there last night, so he wanted me to come today, but I'm not coming today. I'm gonna go Friday. I got you know, I got work, I got kids, I can't just up and leave like that. I wish I could. I really wish I could because I, I mean honestly my kids are an issue their dad is like whatever you need whatever days whatever I got you like he is so cool and be, he don't be tripping it's really my job so that's my only hold back I would definitely be out of town more if it wasn't for my my job so yeah um so I had to get a COVID test yesterday for that. I got my COVID test. I should be getting my flight information sent to me today, hopefully. I didn't realize those flights to Hawaii from Houston are eight hours. I hate flying. Like I fly a lot y'all, but I hate to fly. Like just not being in control. Just, I just always get jittery. Like. And I've flown, I've literally had 10, 11 hour flights before, but it, whenever there's like a flight over three hours, really over like two hours, I just get bad anxiety. So I think I'm gonna film a lot in these next two to three days so I can have a lot to edit on the plane. I'm gonna download movies on Netflix. Um, yeah, I, I'm, uh, I need to keep my mind preoccupied because thinking about the sky it just I, I can't I can't so that's supposed to be happening if if it doesn't happen it's gonna happen let me not say if it don't happen it's gonna happen I'm just so nervous hey I'm nervous but um anyway let me stop acting like a kid he was like I want you to come today he was and I was like I can't like I literally can't I gotta work tomorrow he was like I'm gonna pay for all that like don't even like what I'm paying for all that <sighs> I wish it was that easy to just call I just I can't I can't do that but uh, yeah I haven't had Chipotle in like a minute I ain't had Chipotle in about three four weeks this is like the longest I've been without it so I'm not gonna get that rice, that damn uh, cauliflower rice. They charge an extra two dollars for cauliflower rice. That's what I want, but I don't want my bill to be twelve dollars for one bowl. I'm gonna try to be as cost efficient as possible. I'm getting my guac though. If I wasn't getting my guac, maybe, but I'm getting my guac. I'm so mad. I'm just realizing I left my AirPods in my other purse. I'm pissed. Hello, um, a bowl. Oh, you're to go. Uh, you can put it in to, in to go. I'm gonna eat it here, but I want it to go. Okay. You need white, brown, and cauliflower rice? Um, a small scoop of brown rice. Is it black or pinto beans? Um, black and pinto. Black and pinto? A small scoop of pinto. Yeah. Is there some meat? Um, chicken, some vegetables. Um, Mild. Mild? Yep. Sour cream. Sour cream. Corn. Cheese. Lettuce. And can I get some guac in a cup? Yeah. And then two, can I get two salad dressings as well? You actually ran out of salad dressings. No! Yes. Oh man. Okay. Alright. So just a side of guac in a cup. So bomb, y'all. So good. Man, they don't have the salad dressing, but it's still gonna be still so good. Jim Kate, you guys are on. I tell y'all, they are jamming in here. Do y'all hear that? Erica Badu. They jamming. Y'all, so I'm a little like low key mad because I just paid for my Chipotle with money. Oh shit. I hate when my car door doesn't unlock. Like my keys are right here in my purse. As soon as I touch the handle, it should unlock. Like what the hell? But anyways, like I was saying, I'm mad because I just paid for my Chipotle $8. 
in cash and I could have used my fetch rewards. Like, why didn't I think of that? Like, I don't, so I'm a little annoyed. <sighs> I could have saved $8. Y'all know I like saving a dollar. Everywhere I go now, I just need to look on fetch rewards and see like, just type it in like, can I use a gift card here? Can I use a, a fetch rewards gift card here? Like, so. I think I wanna go pick the kids up. It's 4.30, they've been at daycare since 6 a.m. I wanna pick them up. I think that's what I'm about to do. I still haven't uh, heard from their dad yet. He's supposed to meet me like an hour ago, but he said he got caught up doing something. So I'm just gonna continue my day until he hits me. Y'all, I'm about to go on Dollar Tree, but um, it's just like a little bit of nostalgia that I, I'm just now real, not realizing. I know every time I come to the area that I grew up in, but just to like, just sit back and like take it in. Like these are the places I used to go with my mom. Let me show you guys. I don't know if you can see way down there. Oh, look, let me zoom in. Right there, that's Luby's, my mom's. One of her favorite restaurants. Um, we used to go there almost every Saturday for their breakfast buffet. When my oldest son was like really young, their breakfast buffet was like five dollars it was like super cheap and it was just all you want all you can eat breakfast it was so good y'all now that luby's is closed down i really hate that it closed down because i mean that's been there since i was a little little girl now right here 99 ranch mart that used to be a jc penny back in the day um girl we used to steal out of there all the time <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say, but yeah, that used to be a JC Penny. Um, that's the Dollar Tree I'm about to go in. I don't remember if that was anything, what that used to be when I was young, but um, and then that place just go. It's like an Asian supermarket. That used to be a Target, and my sister actually used to work there. That was the first job she ever worked at when she was 16. So it's just, it's just like crazy, just seeing how much has changed in 30 something years to what it is now but yeah and it just makes me think of my mom so okay i need some white nail polish y'all look somebody posted um painted black lives matter right there but let me see white nail polish i love your watch oh, oh. it's really cute oh thank you mm. Y'all know, y'all know I don't need these, but. <laughs> Every time I come in, they have something for me to unnecessarily spend money on. Y'all, look how cute these nails are, but they don't have a second pack. These two, so cute. And these are really, really light but they only have single pack, so. But this is what I found. I feel like I have these already, but I'm still gonna go ahead and buy them because they're cute. These are new. These are brand new. I love those. The nails that they always have. These just little French tips. I don't have a pack, but um, they always keep these here. And I saw these. I thought these would be cute for Hawaii. Look at that. Super cute. And look what I found. This takes your nails off. Y'all know I usually put like a, I take one nail off and use it to lift the other nails off. And I can just use this. And then I found my white polish. I'm home now, y'all. I'm just doing a little bit of smudging just to clear some energy, clear the air, just to, you know. I just need like my space to be like just free, peaceful. Anyway, y'all know. Y'all know I just do this all the time. Um, I'm about to show you guys what I got from Dang cricket. Oh shoot. Okay, there it is. Hold on, Malaysia. with everything going on right now, it really like Hold on, Malaysia girl. And y'all, I just let mine um I just set it and I just let it burn out on its own. I don't know if y'all put y'all's out, how you do it, but that's how I do mine. So I'm just gonna set mine to the side right here. Okay, let me show y'all what I got from Louis. These are items that I had on my wish list. 
So I got them. I got 30 days to make up my mind if I'm going to keep them or not. So the first item I got is this baseball cap. Now this isn't the color that I wanted. I wanted the light tan one. It's like a nude color. I've been wanting that one. I think I put that one on Instagram back in October. So can somebody buy me this for my birthday? <laughs> so this is the hat. Y'all know I'm a hat girl. Oh, hold on. Let, let me loosen it up. Because I can't wear it on the tightest one. I need to wear it. Like right in the middle. So this is the hat. I think it's cute. Of course not with my hair like this, but super cute. And then y'all know I like wearing my hats backwards too. So that's how the back look. This hat was $800. So, and like I said, it's not the color that I originally wanted. That color is sold out online and it's sold out in store. So I just opted for this one. So I, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it just because I don't know. I didn't want this. Like I did not want this color. I wanted this hat, not this color. So for $800, I don't know. I, I got to think about it. Next, I know you can already tell your girl got some shoes. So I got these slippers. These are called the Lock Mules or Locket Mule. Super cute. I got them in a 39 and a half, which is a nine and a half. Um, they do run a little bit small. My foot is like right, right at the top and at the back. So I could have probably fit a 40, but um, they didn't have a 40. And then my SA, uh, my SA was like, you know, if you went up to a 40, it probably might be flopping on your foot a little bit and whatever, whatever. I don't know. He probably just wanted to make a sale, but these are cute. I don't know how much I pay for these, like almost 900. I think these were like 860. So a tax 900. So, yeah, I love these. These I'm probably going to keep for sure. That hat is kind of up in the air. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm hoping to probably keep it for just a couple of weeks and then just keep checking the Louis Vuitton website to see, see if they have that light colored one come in and then just go exchange it. But I don't know. And then he gave me a sample of like all the new fragrances that they have. They have three new summertime fragrances. Y'all, I was this close to buying one. But I was like, I do not need any more perfume. Like, I don't need it. I got so many perfumes, so many new bottles of perfume. Literally, my Louis Vuitton perfume that I got almost two years ago is still practically full. But um, he gave me all these samples. What's that? Four, six samples. So, at least if I do maybe want to buy one, I'll be able to just really test it out first before I make a $300 decision. So, let me show y'all my P.O. Box stuff because I did get some stuff. I got some P.O. Box stuff that I got recently and a while ago. I am a bad influencer. Let me look in the camera and tell y'all. If y'all sent me stuff a long time ago, back in January, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm bad. I'm I'm very bad at this. <laughs> but let me go ahead and do like um an unboxing of the stuff that I do have right here. All right, so this is some stuff that I'm going to unbox. So y'all bear with me cuz like I said, I don't really do unboxings. So yeah, that's the stuff that I'm going to unbox and thank you so much to everybody who sent me something like literally you are so appreciated and just because i didn't open it up immediately i apologize like i said just i i don't i don't do this full time i work a regular job i have kids like i have a personal life so i just got a little bit behind on it but i promise like as soon as i get stuff in my p.o box i think i'm just gonna open it right then and there i don't think i'm just gonna wait and let stuff collect up i'm just even if it's one or two things I'm gonna do that unboxing in that vlog. So, all right, here we go. All right, this is the first item. This is the Ocean Galaxy Light. I know this was sent to me from a company 
that just wanted me to do an unboxing on here. So this is like a nightlight for kids. So this is how it looks. You plug it in, it has a remote control. Here's your USB cord, your remote control. Let me see if it's battery operated. Is it? I don't see that it's battery operated. But anyway, it has like 10 different colors that it lights up on your ceiling. Like I'm like a strobe light. So this lights up for kids. I'm probably gonna put this in Ashton's room because she's the one who lights night lights and stuff. So yeah, you guys wanna check them out. They're at Ocean Galaxy Light. That's their Instagram, Ocean Galaxy Light. Something cute, I think that's cute for kids. Something more, you know, special than just like a regular nightlight. Okay, next we have Fiercely Beautiful Cosmetics. This is their card. It's a little thank you card. Fiercely Beautiful Cosmetics, fiercelybeautifulcosmetics.com. It says, thank you so much. It just says, thank you so much for this promo and God bless. Her Instagram is written there. You guys can take a screenshot. Let's see. Ooh, baby, we got some skincare. Okay, hold up. Hold up. So we got some shimmering body oil. Ooh, that smells good. Next we got some, what is this? It looks like a lip scrub. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wish I could smell that. But that's a lip scrub right there. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I'll be using some of this tonight. Oh my God, I wish I could. Oh, it smells so good. Yes, baby. Some lip gloss. Mmm, it smells like chocolate. So it got a little shimmer to it. This color is called So Icy, and look at it. It literally looks like diamonds are in there. Exfoliating body scrub. Do y'all see that? Look at that. This is so pretty. It looks like it has like dried flowers, maybe some nuts in there. Let's see what this called. It's called Whipped Foaming Sugar Scrub. All natural, homemade. Make sure y'all check her out. Like I said, Fiercely Beauty, that's her Instagram right there, her website. Definitely check her out. Thank you, boo. I know she's one of the ones who sent me this package a while ago and I didn't open it up. So I, I truly apologize and thank you so much for that. I need some scissors. I'm about to, my press on there is about to press off. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, this is called Waist Gems by Kay. Hopefully she has an Instagram in here. Oh, these are waist beads, girl. I've packed on some LBs. Oh, they stretch. Okay. See, I had waist beads that were like to my stomach back in the past. They were like literally measured to my stomach. They did not stretch and they were supposed to like, um, what you call, track your progress of how your, your weight went down. So with these being stretchy ones, does it do the same thing? Let me put these on. Y'all look, these are so cute. Where's the little tassel? It had like a little, there you go. What is that? Okay, just like a little hand. These are cute, y'all. Definitely, these are still the same kind when you lose weight. When you lose weight, they will go down on your stomach some. And they're fashionable, so that's real cute. So these are Waist Beads by K. Now this, okay, yeah, this one I bought. I'm one of those people I support my friends. Let me get a... Sorry, I just got slightly annoyed. <laughs> I'm thinking I could just open everything with my hands, but I'm like, I can't just dig into packages like that because my nails will rip off. Anyways, like I was saying, I spend all this money with designer, uh, uh, put, whoa, okay. Okay, packaging, all right. So it came with confetti and little diamond jewels, as you can see. 
kind of fell on the ground. But this is Ming. Ming for King. She has a body butter and body scrub line. So I purchased. One thing about me, if I could spend big bucks with designers, I could spend with people that I actually know. So this is the Beltique Whipped Body Butter. Look how pretty that packaging is. And look how pretty the color is. These are handmade natural ingredients. Oh, it smells so good. So good. What flavor did I get? I don't know what flavor I got. Dang it. But anyway, her Instagram is on here. If you can see at the bottom, it says Beltique Beauty. And also, her uh, Instagram is Ming for King. She has a family channel here on YouTube. She has a personal channel here on YouTube, The Bells Plus Two. But um, y'all check her out. She does body scrub, body butter, and I think she's adding more stuff, if I'm not mistaken. I had just checked her. Um, here's her Here's her uh, card. You can get 10% off and use code BELL10. So if you guys are interested in purchasing from her, Beltique Beauty on Instagram. I love when my friends start a business. I love showing support. I feel like when I show support for others, it'll come back to me. I am very big on what you put out there. You get back in, you receive it back. So, yeah, I always purchase from my friends. Oh, this is some hair. So this is her packaging. Hopefully she put her information on the inside. I remember her hitting me up and she asked could she send me some hair and I said yes, I'll do it for a, um, a P.O. Box unboxing. So let's see. Okay, so it's Lovely Hair. Instagram is lovely.hair. And her website is lovelyhair.bigcartel.com. And she's doing a 20% off with Thank You 20. Make sure you check her out. Small business, black-owned business. Always down to support my black-owned businesses. This is how her hair comes in a nice satin sack. And let's see, baby, what she sent. Okay, so you get an edge brush. I like this one. It's wood, and I always get the plastic ones. Two wig caps. And here is my unit. Okay, we got some color. Look at that. Look at that color. Look at that curl pattern. Knots are bleached. Bleached knots, honey. You really don't get that from, like, Asian companies. You gotta bleach your own knots, you gotta pluck, you gotta do all the work. This is, this is bleached. Bleach knot, so all you gotta do is pop her on, finger comb her, and then she's ready to go. I don't know what length I got or what style this is. I wanna say the, this length looks to me, because it's curly, maybe about a 16, but I'm not really sure. But very, very pretty, guys. Y'all make sure you guys check her out. Once again, it is lovely hair, and there's a discount code on this paper. Okay, here's the next one. Hmm. All right, let's see what we got. <gasps> Did she send me some? She sent me sunglasses. Hold on, what's the company name? Please tell me you sent. Baby sent me so many sunglasses, oh my God. Hi Gina, my name is Roshanique Johnson from the Reflective Collective. I am currently a very small business owner. First, I would like to say thank you for adding your shipping address to your YouTube channel in addition to congratulating you on your success. Your hauls have impacted myself as well as other girls tremendously. I, for one, now have more confidence and am frequently inspired to tailor my style and fashion sense. I am sending you a few pairs of sunglasses from my collection, which are posh in red, Sydney in pink with the gold chain, jelly in green, and fly in pink and yellow. Please let your followers know if they purchase from your recommendation, coupon code GINA will give them 25% off their purchase. My social media is shoppreflectionc. And my website is shoppreflectioncollection.com. Oh, let me show you guys. Hold up, let's see. 
right here. Coupon code is Gina for 25% off. Y'all pause the video on that part if you want to get the website, if you want to see the coupon code. Wow, wow, ooh. Baby, these are cute. It's the details. These are cute. I love a good color shade, baby. Ooh, and they fit my big fat face perfectly. Ooh. I'm in love. I'm in love. Y'all see these bad boys? Watch me put on a whole green outfit and rock this. Watch me put on a whole green outfit. If y'all didn't see my other pictures when I went out of town and I wore the whole orange outfit with the orange sunglasses, watch. I, girl, thank you so much. I am in love. I did not know I needed green sunglasses until right now. Like, this is what I have been missing in my wardrobe. Like. Let me put them with the other colored ones. See, these are my orange ones. Let me show you guys. These are the orange ones I wore. Now I have green. Yes, ma'am. Yes, and thank you. Okay, these looking nice and dainty. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. These are for definitely for like a picture, like a statement look. Butterfly glasses, definitely different. It really gives you something like a photo shoot vibe or like laying out by the pool, just something to like compliment your outfit. Look at that. Look at that. Baby, it is the details for me. Can you picture yourself with your hair slicked back in like a bun or a low ponytail? And then you turn to the side and you see these hanging. Mm, you don't even need earrings. That, that almost kind of gives you the illusion of earrings. That's cute. I really like these. These remind me of like Lil' Kim. So these are giving me like 90s vibes, like early 2000s. Super cute, different. Definitely gives you that summertime spring look. Like I am loving these. All right, this is the next one. Hopefully I can get it out before my battery dies. Because you know, Sony is always trying to play me. Ooh, a Hallmark card. Ooh, it closes our newest item, which is our customized L1 Kim leggings. That's what it looks like, L1 Kim leggings. Thank you so much for the opportunity to work with you. We're excited to be featured on your YouTube account so your followers are able to see my brand in which we celebrate melanin moments in the 90s. Our Instagram is at Temple and Cardi and the website is templeandcardi.com. All right, that was cute. She put a Hallmark card in. So she said these are their newest leggings. Okay, so these are the leggings. They say Temple and cardi on the side they say temple and cardi at the waistband girl oh when i said l i kim it was lil kim i'm sorry y'all so lil kim leggings do you see that that is the infamous cover that she, i think she it was like for vibe magazine or was it her album cover i can't remember but I just know this poster was up in every teenage boy's room back in the mid 90s. <laughs> Y'all know the pose. But these are so cute. What size did I get? Size large. They should fit. That waist looks a little small, but look how stretchy. This is quality. Quality. Make sure you guys check out Temple and Cardi for your workout gear, for your black owned business to support them. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, what do we have here? Thick things. Baby, I know that's right. Thank you. Hope your purchase makes you feel sexy and confident as it should, no matter the shape or size. Your bad little thick thing. XOXO Nushi. Ooh, some red leggings. These are definitely giving me Skims vibes. Super stretchy, like extremely stretchy. 
Oh my God, it has the matching top. Oh, I'm even more excited now. I am even more excited. Look at this. It has the matching top to the leggings. Baby, this is a whole look. She also sent it in brown. Y'all know I love a good neutral. Skims vibes without the Skims price. Okay, and a velour set. So we got some stack bottom velour pants and a little crop jacket to go with it. Super cute, y'all gonna see me in this. I love this. Very soft. Y'all, when y'all starting y'all brands, quality items, it, that is just so important. Like, it is all about the quality. And this, a little boob shirt. Y'all see this? It got the chains on it. Can't win a bra with this. So make sure the girls are lifted up. Super sexy. Look at that chain. Okay, next we got Boxy Charm. This is... I guess the February box, maybe the March box. I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, Boxy Charm. Y'all know about Boxy Charm. I work with them. Um, they send me their box. If you guys want to check them out, they are a subscription-based company. So every month you do get another box with full-size items on it. And like I said, it's subscription-based. They have two different size boxes. The regular box, which is this one. Then they have the bigger box that you can get that has more stuff in it and bigger items. Okay, so the first item, Tula Skincare So Poreless Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Scrub. This retails for $32. Girl, that's expensive. Next, we have the Tristique Eye Duo Good Vibes Mascara and Eye Pencil. This retails for $44. Then we have the NCLA Beauty So Rich Love Potion. This is a limited edition Valentine's Day cuticle oil. This retails for $18. Then we got the Wander Beauty Getaway Eye and Face Palette. This retails for $36. Y'all know, I don't know how to do mascara. I mean mascara. I don't wear mascara because I wear false lashes, but I don't know how to do um, like eyeshadow and all that. So I will probably be putting this stuff mainly either in a giveaway, giving it to Ashton. When it comes to makeup, y'all know I do like simple basic makeup. And this, this is the last item. This is the Glamoury Pink Lux Glitter Eye Brush Collection. This retails for $30. I'm not taking it out. It's just a case and I can see it has like um, eye brushes on here to do your eyeshadow and stuff. So if you guys wanna check out BoxyCharm, that's what you get. You pay a small amount and you get full size items. So it is definitely a good deal. It really is. It's a it's a really great deal if you sign up for this because you get full size items. The next item is from Kashin Bea, Cash the Oil Man. So let's see. He sent me a mask. Ooh, this box just smells so good. He sent me, ooh, 100% pure and natural African shea butter. There's a note on the inside. I just started taking stuff out. Oh, this is his inventory oils. He has Polo Red, One Million, Amber White, Himalayan Musk, Harmain Collection, White Oud, Riri, Rihanna, Egyptian Amber, Golden Sand, Nicki Minaj, Shea Butter, Ladies Love, Fresh Out the Shower, Incense, Himalayan Three, Shea Butter Two, Big Incense. Okay, so this is just like a basically a list of everything that I guess he sent. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So this is some more shea butter, 100% African shea butter. I'm not sure why there's two different colors. Not really sure. If y'all know why Af shea butter comes in two different colors, let me know. Oh man, here's, okay. So these are the body oils. He sent me all the body oils. Oh, nice. So this is how they look. Y'all excuse my nails, or my not nails, cause they've been breaking. This one is like white oud. Mmm, that smells really good. 
What's this one? One million. He sells incense. Y'all, look at all this. Ooh, I feel like it's Christmas. What's this? Is this incense? Incense. I got hand sanitizer. What's this? Gloves? Wow. Let's see. These shea butter. These are the bath oils. More incense, lavender. Gosh. And these are like incense. You're not going to find these at like the dollar store, the beauty supply. Thank you so much. Y'all check him out. His name is Cash the Oil Man. Check him out because like I said, he got some of everything. Okay, this is the Cock Strong Candlery. Established 2019. Did I get some candles? <gasps> I got candles. And y'all look how nice the packaging looks. This is how it is. And then when you open up your package, Wow. Wow. She looked like she got her stuff together. Gina J, my thick bestie. Hey, best friend. Hey, girl. Thank you. Thank you for all your amazing content. Please enjoy these candle goodies from my website and send all the feedback. Thanks, B. Oh. Thank you for your purchase. Wooden Wick Soy Candle Card. And it just gives you like uh, information on how to take care of your candles. Oh, and this this is a scent menu. It's almost like a restaurant, like bar menu. Baker's Man, The Bartender, Mama's Boy, Mr. Big. Okay, so let me read you what Mr. Big is. A knee trembling scent of green florals and green leaves that gives way to a big heart and fun filled fig and jasmine. Mr. Steal Your Girl. Okay, so I love how these are like named after men. Suit and tie, surfer dude, so fresh, so clean, sugar daddy. Let's say what sugar daddy is. Sweet yet salty confection with notes of warm caramel, coconut, vanilla, with an addicting buttery finish. She put work into her stuff. Like, she put work into her stuff. Wow. Cologne collection. This is good. Here is her website at the bottom. Y'all take a screenshot, shop with her. Black owned business candles. Okay, so this is suit and tie. These are wax for your wax warmer. And I have a wax warmer right over there. And do y'all see how big these is? Y'all probably can't tell how big these are, but usually like the ones you get from like Walmart or Walgreens are like half of this size. So all you would need to do is just burn one. Wow. Sis, sis sent me a, I got a warmer. She sent me a plug-in warmer. I don't deserve all this. Prince Charming. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I love masculine smell. It's like masculine with a little feminine hint to it. <gasps> what? What is this? Oh, this is a sample wax. This one's Baker's Man. She sent a lighter for the candles. A wick clipper. I think that's what that is to clip to clip the wicks. Okay, so here's a candle, Steel Waters. Oh, I need this in a body spray. Oh, that smells good. And it has a wood wick, so you know wood wicks give you like that cracking. <sighs> Y'all, this is like Christmas. This one's called Sancho. A triple, ooh! Now this one's kind of sweet and fruity, Sancho. A triple wood wick. I have never seen that before. I cannot wait to light this. Mm. Oh my God. What is this? Girl, did you send me some house spray? Is this some room spray? I love how that sprays out. 
it doesn't spray out like your normal like uh, Glade spray. You know, Glade spray, you spray it in the air and it just trickles back down. This is like a real mist. Oh, and it smells like cinnamon. Thank you so much. This is the last one. This is like a big daddy candle. If I ever just want to send me a gift, just an I'm thinking about you gift, y'all could always send me a candle. This one's home sweet home also. And it's that nice like cinnamony swell. Big, heavy, like what, what is the ounces on this? Are the ounces on here? 32 ounces and it's a double wood wick candle. Once again, y'all make sure to check her out. This is Cock Strong Candles. Check out her website. I mean, this is just amazing. The smells, my house is about to be like on point. Make sure that's everything out the box. See, let's see. Is there a card in here? Shop Azel or AZL? Shop AZL. All right, Shop AZL. This is her info right here. Y'all take a screenshot of that. It has her Instagram and the website. Oh, look at these glasses. Okay, uh, rich bitch. Who? Me? Yes, that's right. Look at this. Look at these glasses. Fly. Fly. You can't tell me these aren't fly. <gasps> and some more colored glasses. Y'all know me. Y'all know I like me a good color. I love a good black glasses, a good brown sunglasses, but color? Let me pop out. Let me pop out with the orange and black. Look at that. Look at that. These are giving me Fenty. These are giving me Dior. Super cute. I like these. I've never seen any glasses like these before. Ooh. That is super cute. Look at that. It has the two-tone brown, it's cropped. You know my style, girl. I love this quality, stretchy, my style all the way. These feel like some shoes, let's see. Did I get? <gasps> no, you didn't. No, you did not. Look. These are like the Louis Vuitton slippers and y'all, they are so soft. Touch it, touch it. Oh, I wish y'all could feel that. What size is this? Let's see, do it fit? Oh, that fits perfectly. Y'all look how cute these are. Oh, I'm taking these on vacation with me. Oh, I'm about to wear these right now. <laughs> Oh, I'm talking about taking these on vacation. Baby, these are getting worn right now. Oh, they're so soft on my feet too, y'all. She got slippers, she has sunglasses, accessories, everything. Wow, thank you guys so, so, so much for sending me these items. Like I said, I apologize so much if you guys sent me these and it took me a long time to feature them. I just get so busy, but I have to honestly think like, you guys took the time out to package this, write me a letter, pay for postage and send it to me. Like, I have to make sure that you guys sending me stuff are a priority next time. So like I said, I'm, I'm human, I make mistakes, I apologize moving forward. If you guys wanna send me stuff, I'm just gonna open it as I get it. I'm not gonna let stuff collect up. I'm just, I'm just gonna open it. You guys check out all of these small businesses. They are black owned businesses. If you're not a black owned business, if you just wanna get some type of promotion from for your business, just hit me up and I'm gonna promote you on my channel. Like this is free of charge. Like I don't charge to do this. Like I really want everybody to win. There's enough money out here for everybody, for all of us. So. Once again, thank you guys so much. If you guys see anything that you like in these videos, take a screenshot, follow them on Instagram, use the coupon codes that I provided, like shop with them, 
shop with them because especially in these hard times we all need to be supporting each other so i'm about to clean up put my stuff in my closet put my stuff in my drawers get everything organized and then i'm gonna come back with you guys my poor baby literally knocked out sleep because we had to be up at 5 30 this morning ethan's upstairs sleep oh my goodness my poor babies they're not used to waking up this early they've been out of school for the past week and a half Good morning, happy Wednesday. I just got to work, I'm in my parking garage. What time is it? 6.50, so I'm just barely making it on time. I just wanna check in with you guys this morning cause I don't think I ended yesterday, like told y'all good night, nothing. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna be leaving work a little bit early today because Ashton has a doctor's appointment. She has to get an X, not an X-ray on her knee cause she had to got a knee X-ray, but they saw fluid in her knee. So we're going to see a specialist and um, an orthopedic specialist to see what is going on with my baby's knee. She's been having knee pain for the past few months. So um, that's what's on today's agenda. I'm so mad I forgot to take the meat out of the refrigerator, of the freezer today. I opened up the freezer, then I opened up the refrigerator, and then I just had a brain fart. Like my brain literally just went blank and I just stood there and I'm like, why do I have the refrigerator open? And then I didn't realize till I was down the street, like that's why I had the refrigerator open 10 minutes ago. So we'll probably be eating out tonight or fast food or whatever, I, I don't know. Cause I'm probably not even gonna be home with her doctor's appointment at four o'clock. Probably not gonna be home till like 5.30. I can't thaw no meat. I mean, I could in the microwave, but I hate doing that. I, I hate doing that. But, um, all right guys, let me go. Told y'all I have my period. Um, it just ended. So I still have little ugly pimples on my chin. But anyway, I'll check in with you guys once I get off work. What's up guys? It's three o'clock. I am off work. And I'm on the hunt for some water. Y'all know we just went through that crazy storm where everybody's power was turned off. Our water system was contaminated just up until two days ago. I think they took the um, notice off of our water system. Um, so now I'm on the hunt for some bottled water. <laughs> Y'all know I drink... Uh-oh, what am I doing? Y'all know I drink the water from my... Um, my filtered water from my refrigerator. But I just need bottled water for like on the go. I don't need it for on the go. I want it for on the go because I could be a save the turtles type chick and actually use all the water bottles that I have. Like I have reusable water bottles that I could fill up with ice and water. Oh, but that's just not me. So I know I'm not going to do it. I'm going to be a bad girl. So I'm at CBS about to look for some bottled water. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I have some. So y'all bear with me. Pray for me. I'm gonna stop it probably two, uh, maybe two more after this if they don't have it here. Y'all see how my mask just every time I talk, it just slides past my nose. It just slides down, slides down. Like that's the problem of having a flat nose. Like would y'all still love me if I got a nose job? Because I'm really considering it. But anyway, that's a whole other video. No water. None. Only flavored water. And I got that at home already. Flavored water does not quench your thirst. <sighs> okay, on to the next one. Oh my God, y'all, look what I found. One bottle of water. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? I'm about to buy it. Look, all the water is gone. Oh. Okay, so this was meant to be. I have not had water all day. The water at my job is still turned off, like our filtered water system. The only water that I've had today is the flavored water that I brought from home. But So let me go because there's, they're playing music in here. Oh my God. I have not had water since yesterday. Like real, regular, plain water. I don't understand how good this tastes when you can't have water like <sighs> this is amazing <sighs> I 
I'm about to stop at another CVS right up the street to see if they have cases of water. I hate Clubhouse. Like, Clubhouse drives me fucking bananas with all these damn notifications. Then your thumb accidentally hits you and it puts you in a damn chat room you ain't want to be in. Then they be calling you to the stage and because you can't exit out of it quick enough. Like, oh my God. Like, Clubhouse, y'all have got to do better. So annoying. I found water! My dad, that is not the full size 16 ounce bottles. They're like the little mini quarter waters. But that's okay though. That'll that'll last us until the weekend. Hopefully by the weekend, most stores will be stocked up. I'm excited. <laughs> it's crazy when you get excited over water. Water! We don't have water. There's a water shortage in the city. Oh my god. Really? Some Texas shit. I guess I'm gonna give me some Tito's. These are good too. You don't have to add nothing to them. When I was broke, this was my drink of choice <laughs> in Amsterdam. Don't get me wrong, I still drink some Amsterdam now. Don't get it twisted. Kettle one, no sugar added. This one is good if you're trying to watch your sugar intake. So y'all, I bought from a black owned company. I always say, I spend a lot of money with these Famous designers, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Prada, all of that. So I can definitely support black owned brands and also my friends brands. Like that is literally a motto that I live by. So I bought this shirt, Essentials Fear of God. You probably have seen it before. I'm so excited. My God. And it did say it runs big. So I sized down to a size of medium. I think I got a medium. I'm almost positive, yeah. I got a medium. I believe this is a men's t-shirt. They do have women's t-shirts. They got women's sweatpants, men's, but I, this is the color I wanted and I think they only had it in men's. <gasps> I'm so happy, it's so cute. I'm gonna wear this with like some black leggings, like my brown Gucci socks. I don't know. But anyways, y'all support black business, especially if you can spend thousands of dollars on these high-end designers. Support your people. So I'm about to try on a couple of items from Thick Things by Nushi. Um, that's one of the items that I showed you guys from my P.O. Box unboxing yesterday. So I'm just going to try a couple of little items on. Then I'm going to go take a shower, see what I'm going to do for dinner. So yeah, I'm not going to try everything on y'all, but just a couple of items. So y'all, this is one of the sets. Ooh, Skims who? Skims what? Uh, baby. Look at this, and fits so good. This is size large. Comes all the way down to the ankle. And it's high rise. Super cute. Mm. Okay, I'm feeling myself, y'all. Might be feeling myself a little bit too much, but. <laughs> y'all, this is the next one. I am in love with this color. And y'all already know how I'm coming with the crop jacket. Now I do have my grandpa sweaters here. I don't know if I'd wear them with this. I don't know, maybe for an around the house look, but, <gasps> oh, don't play. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am totally in love. Um, Her Instagram is thick things clothing at thick things clothing and i will have that on the screen for y'all because this these are just too good they're too good it's the quality for me <laughs> it's the fit for me it's the private labeling the packaging like ladies when y'all do y'all business do it up like this how she sent everything perfection Perfection. I'm tall. Look how long these pants are. Look, I can wear them with heels if I wanted to. Like, 
Oh my God, this is so cute. I have it over one shoulder. You don't have to wear it like that. You can wear it just like a regular hoodie, which I know I'm extra. See, you can just wear it like a regular hoodie. This is a super cute airport outfit. Super cute. On my next trip, this is probably what I'm gonna wear. <laughs> like no BS. Y'all check her out. Check her out. I wonder if she'll give me a discount code for you to give you guys. Hmm. Let me go take my shower. <laughs> Let me go take my shower real quick and I'll be back, guys. Y'all know about this old Foxy Brown. What y'all know about this? All right, y'all. Let me lotion up, do my skincare routine, and I'm going to be back after I lotion up and put some clothes on. Describe it. If you look at a gold, you'll notice a lot of blue. That blue represents Earth's ocean. <laughs> so I'm watching Aaliyah's face while I do my nails. Y'all, this little tool that I bought yesterday is the GOAT. Look at this. It says, I got it from Dollar Tree. It says gel polish remover tool. It works just how I thought it would work. You just literally put it under the edge of your nail. Oh my gosh, it just comes off so easy. But literally you just slowly just put it under there. Just slowly move it and it's off. Cause literally I would use this nail to dig off the other nails, but this is literally like, it's like a nail. If you look at it, it will not focus. I don't know why, but it literally looks like a nail. So these are the nails that I'm going to be putting on. And then I'm gonna order me some um, DoorDash for dinner. I'm really not even hungry, I'm tired. But um, Trill said he wants to send me food, so. I'm going to let him send me food. <laughs> so I'm going to look on DoorDash and see what's open. What time is it? It's only 9 o'clock, so everything really should still be open. I was going to do my skincare routine. I don't think I'm going to do that today just because I don't feel like it. I just don't feel like it. I need to hang the stuff up on my bed. And I'm probably going to call it like an early night tonight, y'all. I am just so tired. Like... Waking up at 5.30 and I've been off for the past week, over a week. So to try to get back into the swing of things is like, oh God. <laughs> Come give me a hug. I'm going to get you. Why? I saw what you did. I didn't do it. Uh, but I saw what you tried to do. <laughs> trying to be sneaky. Uh -huh. Give me a hug. <laughs> oh, you smell good. <laughs> You smell good. Wait, give me a kiss. Well, these are nice. Give me a kiss, Ethan. I love you guys. I wish I could sleep with you. Why are you sweating, little boy? I just felt the water in his hair. No, he's sweating. His forehead is wet. All right, love you guys. Love you too. See y'all in the morning. Good night, guys. Peace. Love you. Turn those lights off, baby. All right, let's see what DoorDash has. Piata. Piata still open? Carabas. I'll back steakhouse. But don't want just something plain like Chick fil A. <laughs> Wing stop, Chipotle. No, I had Chipotle yesterday. Chili's, no, because I'll probably take the kids. There sometime. Mm, yeah, I think I'm gonna do Freddy's. I haven't had Freddy's in so long. American cheese, bacon, no onions. So this is how the nails turned out. Super cute. Y'all, y'all cannot tell me these are not cute for a dollar. Even though they're only gonna last like about, mm, like three or four days, a dollar?
this is just like so much cheaper and more convenient than going and getting it done yourself. Like all I got to do now is just get a manicure and my pedicure and then I can just do my hands myself. Like I don't think I'm going back, sis. I, I, I don't think I'm ever going back to getting my nails done. I, I just, I love this too much. Look how short they are too. Like, let me save my coin. Let me, let me save my money. So I'm waiting on the DoorDash to get here. It's 9.45. And it says my order is still being prepared. It should arrive between 9.58 and 10.04. But the time keeps going back, back, back. Only by a few minutes, but still. Like I told y'all, I'm really not even hungry. Like, I'm not hungry. This is just free food. <laughs> All right, let me get back to watching my YouTube videos. And I'm going to straighten this stuff up right here. Throw this, throw my old nails away and pack this stuff up. So I'll be back. Probably, I'll probably be back once my food comes. I'm just trying to figure out why my time keeps getting pushed back. Like, it was 10.09, then it was 10.12, now it says 10.16. I really need to just go check my front door. Y'all, it's like the little things that make me happy. Look, this is from that company, um, Cockstrong Candle Candelier, Chandelier. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but um, they sent me that PR package. Y'all, that little heat lamp smells so good. It smells up my bathroom and my bedroom. Like, so bomb. My light looks like it's burning out on my front porch. This? Oh. I'm like... Is this my food? No, it's just a package. I know this is a hair sponsorship. I can already tell by the shape of the box. And yes, my front porch light is burning out. So that needs to be changed. What kind of bulb is that? Yeah, look at that bulb. It doesn't look like a normal light bulb. It has, you see all those dots in the middle? It has like six dots. I ain't never seen that before. Like what the hell is that? Please let me know in the comments so I can find it on Amazon so I can change it because it's literally about to burn out. It'll probably be burnt out by this week. I think my food's here. My front porch is just so dark now. Oh my God. Nope, still not here. A few moments later. I feel like he dropped it off on the wrong porch. Why is there somebody next door dropping off food? <laughs> he's looking at me, but he's next door. Are you DoorDash? Yeah, I'm 106. Oh no! <laughs> you put, I knew you put it the wrong way. See, I'm glad I'm stalking. I'm so glad I'm stalking because, wow, wow. Let me put the camera down so he doesn't feel weird. I'm glad I looked out the door. Thank you so much. I got the goods. I got the goods. I ain't even hungry. What I'm talking about, I got the goods. I, got... I hope my drink is in here. Oh my gosh. Please let my drink be in here. It is. Okay, cool. I don't order DoorDash or Uber Eats enough to know where they be putting drinks and stuff. I usually don't even order a drink when I order um, delivery food. Okay. 
So we got a Diet Pepsi. I'm lying. When I be traveling, going out of town and stuff, they be putting my drink inside my bag. I'm tripping. I ordered some chicken strips just because I wanted to taste them. That's how they look. Plain chicken strips. My french fries are ice cold. Wow. And they're shoestring. Mm. Wow. Ice cold. Then I got a double cheeseburger, double bacon cheeseburger. They made it so messy. Oh my gosh. And I got honey mustard, barbecue sauce, more honey mustard. French fries are good. They're just cold. Let me try chicken strip. Chicken strips are really good. Mmm, they're seasoned good. And the burger is just, like I said, a double cheeseburger with bacon. I'm going to eat. I'm going to come right back because it's getting late. I need to get, I need to really need to get in bed. But I don't think my Hawaii trip is going to happen um, just because niggas like to lie, basically. <sighs> I, look, let me not say niggas like to lie because I don't know if he lied or is lying, whatever. Like I already told you guys, I was already so like nervous to go. Just like a bunch of things because I would have to call into work on Monday. I would have to leave the kids with their dad an extra day without telling him. I can't tell him last minute. I can I can tell him last minute, but it's so fucked up. Like, I, cause I want, I don't want people making plans for me last minute. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm planning on like being kid free Sunday night, you know, it just kind of throws a little run, monkey wrench in his, in his plans or whatever. And he would have to take them to school on Monday and he don't live nowhere near their school. So anyway, and then, you know, like I said, I'm single, but I still wouldn't tell Trill. Like, if I just tell him last minute, like, hey, I'm going to Hawaii, he's going to be like, for what? With who? Like, when did you find this out? You just telling me 48 hours in advance? And then an eight, nine hour flight, I'm just like, oh, y'all know I hate flying. Like, my hands sweat, my feet sweat. Only when I fly, my hands and feet don't ever sweat. Only when I fly, because I get, I'm like so anxious, nervous, and tensed up. But, um... Anyway, he texted me today. He was like, my assistant, he's like, send me all your information. My assistant's about to book your um, flight. And I literally just got so scared when I see when I got that text today at work. And I was just like, oh my God, like it's real, it's really happening. So anyway, I sent him my information. And then he texted me back probably 20 minutes after that. He was like, just like she, he was like, all right, she's about to book it right now. So I responded back and said, send me the times like i want to know because this is an eight hour flight and i had looked them up myself and a lot of them have stops and for someone who hates flying having stops that's like a no that's a no-go for me so i was like send me the time so i can see so i can have options and then he never responded back after that so that was around 10 a.m and we're now at 10 30 p.m so I haven't texted him. He hasn't texted me. He did read the text message because it says red. So maybe he having cold feet too. Or maybe he found something else to do. I mean, I don't know. So I'm like, I'm kind of relieved because if he hits me tomorrow and is like, oh, here are the options. I'm going to say it's too last minute, which it really is. Tomorrow's Thursday. I would be leaving Friday morning because all the flights are either morning flights or evening flights because the flight is so long. So... I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm just relieved about that just because, like I said, it was just so much that went into it. He lives in California, so I'm probably just going to catch him in California. And that's that. Or maybe in New York, because he's originally from New York, but he lives in California, like 
like I said, he's in the industry, so all business is in Calif in California, in LA. So I'll probably just catch him in LA. And ever I'll do that. I'd rather be in the States because I can make up any excuse to tell Trill, like, oh, I'm going to Miami. Oh, I'm going with my sister to LA, one of my homegirls. Hawaii, like, that is vacation, period. Ain't no last minute Hawaii trip with the girls. Like, it ain't, it, that just ain't happening. Yeah, I have really just. I don't know. I don't, I want to say annoyed, but not really annoyed today. Maybe in my feelings. I don't know what it is, but um, y'all know I was supposed to go to Hawaii with um, oh boy. Um, like I told y'all, I was kind of glad that things didn't work out because I don't know why I was just so I just felt so nervous. And I feel like when your gut tell you something, like, that's what it's supposed to be. Yo, mind don't lie to you. It does not lie to you. So, um, if you have a bad feeling about something, a weird feeling about something, I don't think, I don't think I, sh I was supposed to go. So, I think it really worked itself out. But, um, you know, I just don't like the communication part of it. When yesterday... I hit you at like one o'clock saying, send me the times. You have me on red. It says you read it, but I never get a response. And then today I send you good morning. What you up to around 7 30 AM. Granted, you probably sleep. You in Hawaii. It's a four hour difference. Then I get, then I text like two hours after that. Like, you know what? You know, this is too last minute. I don't have no times. You never send me no times. We're now 24 hours out. Let me just catch you in LA when you get back in town. He immediately responds, but I have your flight stuff. And then sends me the crying, uh, sad crying face. I just sent him the roll of my eyes emoji and that was it. So I'm not about to even play. I ain't about to give you that my energy. My thing is, I felt weird about it from jump, but I still feel like, um, I don't know, your communication was off. If you really, really wanted me to come, you would have had, have had better communication. Anyway, maybe that's just me tripping because like I said, I didn't want to go at all, but now I'm kind of mad that he basically like wasn't on my dick <laughs> about it, you know, so... That happened then y'all I feel like my new manager is out to get me like I just feel like I feel like she doesn't like me um she pulled me in the hallway she just started in January our last big manager was black she was young me and her were real cool we used to laugh and kiki all the time never had any type of nothing with her. You know, she never had to pull me aside, never had to have talks with me, never, you know, nothing. So this manager just started last month. She pulls me to the side yesterday and is like, you know, you've been late, you've called in, blah, 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 on Thursday. Is there any reason why you're, you come in late every single Thursday? And I'm like, well, Thursdays are late day. We don't start till 10 a.m. So since 2020, we've been told that we can come in on Thursdays at like 9 a.m., an hour before we start our day, which is 10 a.m. is when our first case starts. So I usually like to get there about like 8.15, 8.30. I don't take advantage of it, you know, so... It just gives me an extra hour to sleep, gives the kids an extra hour to sleep. So she goes, okay, well, I'm going to have to look into that. And But the system flags me every time, you know, you, um, you know, you don't come to work. And I'm like, the system flags? I'm like, that shit don't sound right because I've been, I've been in my department for over a year, but I've been working at that hospital for like four years. I think it's been four years now. But, um... So I'm like, flags you? How, since when? when? When does something flag you? Because I ain't never have had anybody tell me anything about me uh, calling in when I'm sick. And I don't call in just to call in. No, I, I, I don't do that. 
calling in when I'm sick or c coming in five or 10 minutes late because of traffic or maybe I happen to oversleep. One of my kids was sick, anything, you know, but I always text my supervisor. I have a supervisor, then there's a, a manager manager, like the department manager. So I always text my supervisor, you know, hey, I'm running five minutes late. Hey, can I leave early today? I'm not feeling good, blah, blah, blah. So back to the story, I get an email from the um, department manager saying, these were the dates you were late. Each one was an occurrence. So I look at the first one, February 1st, you were late and left early. So I went back to my text log and I looked up my supervisor's name. That day I was sick. She actually had told me not to come in because I was sick that day. But I came in anyway and I wound up leaving early at 11 a.m. So she had that down as two strikes. Me coming in 15 minutes late and me leaving early. The next thing was I was late um, twice in January, which... You know, I probably was. I think I clocked in like five minutes late, eight minutes late. But anyway, but the third occurrence was this past Monday, I called in, which she put on the email as a call in. I don't consider it a call in when I received the email and I have proof of everything. I received the email on Friday because y'all know we had that horrible storm here in Houston. I received the email Friday saying we have canceled all non-emergent cases for the hospital so that was sent to us from our supervisor so i'm like okay all cases for the hospital that are non-emergency cases meaning non-emergency is life or death um have been canceled for the hospital and only emergent cases for us are cases like if there's a mother who's due to give birth and she has a baby with heart anomaly that needs to be seen right after the baby literally is delivered. Not just a, a, a patient getting a, a heart calf. Anyway, so um, I get a text in a group chat um, Sunday night about 7.40 p.m. saying, hey, two cases were just added on. Mind you, my kid's daycare is closed. My kid's school is closed. I had that email from my supervisor on Friday saying all cases that are not emergency are canceled. Now at 7.45, almost 8 p.m. Sunday night, there's two cases now that popped up on Monday. So I let my supervisor know, hey, I don't have anybody to watch my kids last minute and daycare and school is still closed. She's like, no problem. Go ahead and stay home with you. Take care of the babies. But now my apartment manager is saying that's a call-in. No, we had a whole, Houston was considered a disaster area. FEMA and everything is being dispersed to people. Like <laughs> this wasn't just no regular call-in. Folks still didn't have water on Monday. We didn't have water at our hospital on Monday. You know, my kid's school was closed down Monday and Tuesday. So it's like, I didn't just call in. This is like special circumstances. But my whole thing with all of this is, even though I have text messages, emails to prove that I didn't just come in late, I didn't just call in, it was more than that. Um, I Like, do I really even want to prove to her? Because y'all know I've been wanting to go part-time, supplemental, only work one or two days a week. She's been dragging her feet on that. I don't know what takes so long to get me changed over to part-time, supplemental, whatever y'all want to call it. I've been trying to get this done since the new year, since January, and you've been dragging your feet. I don't know, y'all. I don't know if she's kind of trying to build things up against me. Um, I talked to Trill about it, and I talked to my best friend Jennifer about it. They both think that she's probably trying to just build something against me. Because like I said, with my last manager, no, I didn't have any of these issues. I've never had issues at a job, ever. I've never been written up. I've never gotten in trouble. I've never had like patients or clients or whatever I was working, wherever I was working, I've never had anyone complain about me. Like it's so, it's so weird that now everything is being nitpicked at. I, 
for me leaving early, y'all are counting that as an occurrence for me leaving early? Being nause nauseated and having diarrhea? Like, really? <clears throat> like I said, I got the text messages to prove it. But the thing is, do I even want to prove it? I don't know. It's I'm, I'm kind of like... I've been wanting to do just, you know, this YouTube thing full time. Now this happened, I feel like this is almost like confirmation, like Gina, go ahead and just take the leap. I don't like nobody micromanaging me, nitpicking at me. I come in, I do my job, I do my job. Well, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Maybe I'm just venting. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, <coughs> Trill thinks that I should go to work on Monday. Show her all the text messages, emails, everything. But uh, I'm almost just like, why? Why do I have to prove myself? So I don't know. Um, the thing with the old dude, that's, that, that ain't been weighing on me or nothing. Like I really don't give a damn about that. Cause he ain't going nowhere, but um, it's this. I'm not used to someone riding me, watching what I do, saying the system flags. I don't believe that for one second. I think she's looking and seeing and yeah. Because it was also one day last week where we didn't have any patients. Nobody showed up. I showed up by mistake. I showed up, I clocked in and I realized we don't have any patients. So I called my coworkers. I'm like, we don't have any patients today, right? They were like, no, that's why you're the only one there. We all stayed home. So I clocked out and I left. She's like, why would you come for 20 minutes and clock out? Were you even really here? I said, yes, I was there. And I told her that, you know, there was no patients. No one else came. So when I realized that I left, no, you can't do that. We could have found some work for you to do. You could have, you should have went to so-and-so's office to see if she had work for you to do. You you can't just uh, clock out and leave. So everybody can stay home, but because I came on accident and clocked in for 20 minutes, I should have stayed? Girl, I don't know. I, I really feel like I'm just ready to work for myself. I don't know if this is, maybe I'm tripping. Like I said, Trill and, and Jennifer both said that it seems like she's trying to build a case against me. It don't make sense why I haven't went part-time yet. It should have been just something easy in the system that probably should have taken like a week or two because Jennifer is a a, a, a banking a bank manager at uh, Wells Fargo. So she's like, I know stuff like that only takes like a week or two. <laughs> You've been trying to get this done for two months. <laughs> so, you know, and also she had added 10 hours of PTO onto my... Um, Monday that I had missed and I'm like why would you add on you know I didn't approve 10 hours to use my 10 hours of PTO she's gonna say when you call in you have to use PTO like I'm I have to use PTO why do I have to use my PTO why do y'all have to pay me I don't want to get paid I'm, I'm safe I want to save my PTO but y'all are forcing me to use my PTO I don't understand that and I've never been told that before, that I I have to use PTO when I call in. I know they don't know that I do YouTube and I got other income coming in. I, I don't I don't need to use my PTO to get my bills paid. I don't have to do that. So um why are y'all forcing me? I that doesn't that that doesn't make sense up here. If if someone, if y'all work in HR or you're a manager or whatever, please explain to me why I have to use my PTO. That's saving y'all money by not paying me. I didn't show up. I didn't do any work. So y'all aren't paying me. I'm not using PTO. Like I'm just short those 10 hours for that day. Like, and I'm fine with that. She's like, you have to use something. So anyways, I made her change it to five hours of PTO. Like I don't need to use my whole 10 hours. I'm good. So that it's just so much new shit that she's literally trying to say, oh, well, yeah, this is how, that's her, that's the policy, that's policy. And I honestly feel like she does not like me. Um, from the first time I met her, it was a weird vibe, like just the way she looked at me. 
um, the way she spoke to me. It was just kind of off-putting. It was something about it I didn't really dig too deep into or think too much about. But now that all of this is happening, I'm like, yeah, she don't like me. Uh, this week, I was leaving out, finished my shift. We were the only ones walking past each other in the hallway. She tried her best to, like, I was a ghost. Like, nobody was there. Like, she was in the hallway by herself. She was just about to pass me up. And I was like, bye. I said it just like that. I said, bye. She goes, bye. It was so, the way she said bye, kind of like, why are you saying bye to me? Why are you speaking to me? Like, why, peasant? Like, why are you, why are you speaking? That's the way I felt, the way that it was said, the way that it was just so weird. Like, the way that she literally tried to stare off in the space when we were about to cross paths with each other. Like, you're my department supervisor. You should be one to this. I don't know. Like, you should want to speak and smile and say hi to everybody that you're over. My last department supervisor did. Told you she was a, a black chick super cool she wanted nothing more but for uh, us black folks to win like that was her whole thing like we sticking together we gonna win you know so to now that I got this, from that to this I don't know I don't know dog and I just think like what would my mom have done I know if my mom was here she would have been told me like Gina leave like you don't need nobody riding you like that i remember she did the same thing she had a, a brand new manager that started she was working somewhere for two years it was at a hospital me and her were in the same field by the way but uh she was at a hospital a new manager came in just how it was with me new you know the new managers come and they try to leave a mark they try to like set all these new rules and all these new um things they want you to live up to my mom was late one time because of construction and they were about to give her a warning or write her up or something i can't remember what it was and then something else happened where she took like a x-ray of a baby and the image was fuzzy and you know babies be kicking screaming they don't stand still they don't sit still and the lady was just about to write her up or give her a verbal warning it was one of the two but anyway my mom uh put in her notice and quit she was like, I've never been fired from anywhere. I've never been written up and you're not about to do it today. <laughs> My mom didn't play when it came to stuff like that. Someone thinking that they got power over her, like control over her life. Like, mm -mm. so that's what's keeping me at peace. Like I know my mom would, would have been like, Gina, go, you're good, you're fine. You know, so, but I just feel so good talking to y'all, being able to vent. Um, just nervous making that leap, but I think it's time. I really do.